So, I was down in my shop today. I was turning a couple of these basic uh, New Zealand style door stops. I got a video for that at the end if, if you're interested in it. And I'm doing some cleanup and it, and it occurred to me, you know, somehow along the way I learned uh, and bought some additional equipment as I was cleaning up besides the basic broom. So let me show you what I got. One of the first things you need is a bench brush. And it's just handy for cleaning up around your, your lathe and, and workbench. Now there's, there's different styles. Uh, I started off with these two. These, these may be uh, 10, 12, 13 years old. I don't know. I've got a couple of them. One for each end of the shop. But they have plastic strands. One looks like it was from the Dollar Tree and the other one's from uh, Harbor, Harbor Freight. Uh, they, all of these tend to have a brush length of about 7 inches and about uh, Oh, I don't know, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, eight, five rows of uh, bristles. The one I like the best is the horsehair. It costs a few bucks more, uh, but it really does a nice job for getting in tight spaces, even though it does tend to lose, lose hair a little bit. Okay, everybody's got a basic broom. You know, you need a basic broom to do detail uh, cleanup, but for larger cleanup, you need a push broom. So you can get this at uh, your local uh, home development store or any number of places. But a push broom really is great, especially if you're a bowl turner and you really got a lot of uh, chips, shavings to clean up. The next thing, if you're a woodworker, you probably already have something like that. And that's one of these really wide uh, dust, dust pans, out of, usually out of aluminum. They're not real expensive. Let me show you how big that one is. find tape measure when you need it. So this thing is right about 16 inches. I wouldn't get one any smaller. Uh, you can probably make do with uh, a plastic one in a pinch. Certainly these plastic ones are, are cheap and, and they could probably get you by. Uh, they're not nearly as big. This one's only uh, looks like a bit over 11 inches but you know hey these are these are cheap but I like the big one the next thing you know when you deal with uh, a lot of shavings especially small shavings this big gulp I, I'll give you the name for it. it's made this one's made by quickie professional but I think the beauty of this is you don't have to bend over <laughs> that's why I like it now I, I gotta tell you, if you're doing a lot of bowl bowl turning, you'll wind up scooping up most of the shavings in this because that winds up really being easier. I'm not gonna turn the bowl right now to show you, but both of them are handy, and then you just pick it up and dump it in your, your garbage garbage pail. So I hope these tips were useful for you. Uh, if you got any ideas for uh, tips, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you're not a, going this far and you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button and hit everybody hit the like button. If you're interested in the video on how to turn these uh, New Zealand door stops, there'll be a link here. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.